So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem. We can tell that just given the length of the question. So let's get into it and see what we can translate and how that information can help us find the correct answer. So the question says a polling agency recently surveyed 1000 adults who were selected at random from a large city and asked each of the adults, are you satisfied with the quality of air in the city? All right, so let's, first of all, I'm going to say survey, because that is quantitative, right? Surveyed 1,000 um, adults, okay? The survey had multiple questions. So it was air quality. I'll just say air Q. Of those surveyed, 78% responded that they were satisfied. So air, I mean, so maybe it's not multiple questions. Maybe it's a single question. Uh, air quality. So from that, 78% said yes, which means 22% said no, unless there was some other option. But if there was, I can adjust this 22% later. So of those surveyed, 78% responded that they were satisfied with the quality of air in the city. Based on the results of the survey, which of the following statements must be true? All right. So again, just to recap, 1,000 people were spoken to. Um, they were asked about air quality, and here is the quantitative information that came out of that survey. So choice one, or option one here says, of all adults in the city, 78% are satisfied with the quality of air in the city. Well, definitely not, right? The question says that 1,000 adults were, set, were uh, surveyed at random from a large city. Now, you are hopeful that the results of your survey reflect what the entire population um, feels. But again, this question says must be true. Which of the statements must be true? And it doesn't have to be true that uh, the entire city feels exactly the way the thousand people who you surveyed felt. So one is out. And therefore, if one is out, so is C and D. Choice two says, if another 1,000 adults selected at random from the city were surveyed, 78% of them would report they are satisfied with the quality of air in the city. So again, that's going to be crossed out for the same reason. Uh, what if it's 77%? What if it's 79%, right? It could be very close, but to say that it must be true that if you speak to another 1,000 people, a different set of 1,000 adults, that they would answer in the exact same way that exactly 700 and 80 of them would say yes is not fair, and we cannot deduce that from uh, the survey results. So that means two is out, which means choice A has to be the correct answer. But we can look at three here as well. If 1,000 adults selected at random from a different city were surveyed, 78% of them would report they are satisfied. Yeah, so that really doesn't make any sense either, as we expected. Um, the results of one city has nothing to do with the results from a different city, right? They have very different, potentially very different uh, air quality there. So choice A is the best answer to this question.